hey, thanks for joining me. So I don't know about you guys, um, but well, actually, I'm going to just ask you guys, since we're taking advantage of this awesome live interactive video feature, let me just ask you guys, how do you normally drink your Ninja Red? Do you drink it straight up? Do you just pour it straight out of the bottle and go down the hatch? Do you pour it straight out of the bottle and perhaps add some essential oils on top? We've got a great selection of Vitality oils that are wonderful that you can add right on top of your Ningxia Red. Go ahead and in the comments below, let us know. Just comment simply and let us know, do you drink it straight up or do you mix it in something? Um, I do many times just drink it straight up because it's quick, it's fast, I can get it down easily and add whatever Vitality oils I want for the day right on top. Um, I like to mix things up so it's always a little bit different every morning. Um, but some of my favorites would be the um, any of the citrus oils really. Um, I also like the peppermint uh, for a nice cool tingle, that one's great too. But more times than not, I will make it into a mixed drink simply because I love the taste of it and I love to experiment with my uh, drinks and really it helps me to drink more liquids throughout the day. So my one of my best friends in the kitchen is my soda stream. I don't know how many of you guys have soda stream machines, um, but it's basically a home water carbonator. So rather than picking up seltzer water, club soda, carbonated water at the grocery store and lugging it home each week, I just use our filtered tap water. I attach it to the soda stream and it carbonates right there at home. So my family is always drinking seltzer water. And what I normally will do is just take that two ounces of Ningxia Red, pour that into my cup. It really could not be simpler. And uh, top it off with the seltzer water and then whichever Vitality oils I want. So tonight I'm gonna do Jade Lemon because I love it. It is one of our brand new Vitality oils. If you guys don't have these, I highly recommend uh, you get some. I carry these in my purse. When I get to a restaurant, everybody gets a choice of which oils they want in their, their water. I should remind you guys, you probably know this already, but just in case, um, get yourself a glass. When you're dealing with Ningxia Red, which does have essential oils in it, Go ahead and use glass, not plastic, particularly if you're adding more citrus oils on top because uh, we don't want those citrus oils to be degrading the plastic cup that you're drinking from. So go ahead and make sure it's a glass. A lot of people like to drink out of a glass mason jar. That's awesome. Just keep that on your counter and co continually refill it throughout the day. Um, so this is my basic Ninja Spritzer and it's delicious. It's also nutritious, as you guys have been hearing all through the class. Um, but I do like to mix it up even more. And in fact, I have a very creative little daughter, and she loves to come up with new mixed drink recipes all the time. So her favorite would be the same basic spritzer recipe with the two ounces of Ningxia, but she will also add in two ounces of pineapple juice. So if you're a fan of pineapple, it's a great option to add into your Ningxia spritzer. She calls hers Tutti Fruity Blast. You guys can make it up whatever name you want, uh, but she's nine, and so her Tutti Fruity Blast is definitely a hit at our home. Um, and you, as you can probably tell from some of the empties behind me, we go through a lot of Ningxia Red here. All my kids drink it from age two till nine and myself. Um, so some other ways you can mix it up besides the p pineapple water, really any juice that you prefer the taste of. Pomegranate is awesome. There's already pomegranate juice in here so it blends in really well. Um, I will do a drink with pomegranate, about two ounces of pomegranate, two ounces of Ningxia Red, and then top it off with water, usually four to six ounces. And uh, if you want to make that same blend into a lemonade, which is absolutely delicious, squeeze half of a fresh lemon or um, a full lemon, depending on how tart you like it. If you need a little bit more sweetness to it, you can add some agave syrup or some, um, some pure maple syrup is great to add to that. And then on top of that, drop two to three drops of your lemon vitality oil. And that is an amazing Ningxia pomegranate lemonade. 
Another thing that I like to make with my mixed drinks is a Ningxia Fireball. And that is a recipe that I created. Um, and again, it's the same base, which if you're just tuning in late, it's two ounces of Ningxia Red topped off with seltzer water. Um, and for my Fireball, I also add a tube of nitro on top, okay? So this is great for midday, just uh, for an extra energy boost. I also use it uh, when I've got a project that I need to concentrate on. It really helps me to focus and lock into what I'm working on. So it is a cognitive fitness drink, and I find that adding the nitro in with the Ningxia gives me um, a power-packed uh, punch to get through the rest of my day. So you put your two ounces of uh, Ningxia, one tube of nitro, a little bit of seltzer water or flat water, whatever you prefer, and here's what makes it the fireball. One to two drops of cinnamon bark vitality oil. All right, if you haven't tried it, give it a try. Uh, depending on your tolerance for the heat, you can choose one or two drops, uh, but it is delicious and it's nutritious and great for you. So that's the Ningxia Fireball. And last but not least, a smoothie. Have you guys ever put a Ningxia, shot of Ningxia in your smoothies? It's really simple to do. If you have a favorite um, recipe for smoothies that you like and you, you use in the morning, go ahead and just try adding an ounce or two of your Ningxia into it. Um, it really adds a great flavor and obviously all the extra nutrients that are in the Ningxia Red. Uh, but here's a recipe I have for you. It's called the Berry Ningxia Smoothie. I'm going to get two ripe bananas, one pint of frozen blueberries, and two ounces of Ningxia Red. Then you're going to add another six to eight ounces of orange juice, some ice, and blend it up in the blender and that's going to be a fantastic smoothie to start your day off right so that's just a few quick recipes that i wanted to share with you guys really the sky's the limit when it comes to um, possibilities of what you can do with your oils uh, between the ningxia and the vitality oils you guys really can just be as creative as you like and make drinks to your own liking so thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy the rest of our class.